Okay guys, and uh, welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Bucket Voxel Sniper and World Edit. First thing off, I'm going to show you where you get it, which is bucket.org. You need to go to not web this website here, go to Get Craft Bucket, and go down the page until you see Windows. Or if you're using anything else, they have links down below, like Linux and Mac. But up here, you want to click here, Download Craft Bucket latest bucket latest build sorry click that and it will download and after that you need to as well download uh, world edit I'll put these links in the description down below and voxel sniper link will be down there too so once you have those downloaded you can, I'm just going to close that there you install craft bucket and it should load just like this Yours will take longer because you'll be making a seed and it will start up like this. So here's this uh, floating island timeline. That was the last one I did. So let's do random. Then some random seed. There we go. Some random seed. And then if you want to do this on your own little server at home, type in uh, 107, uh, 127.0. Dot zero dot one in the server IP right there, <coughs> and what that will do is make you run a uh, server on your home, uh, like in your on your home computer, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, buying like a mossy cobblestone account or anything else like that. So there you go, pretty simple. Now, if you're using uh, like Zombies Fly mod, make sure you have allow flight on. I don't use that right now, but I still have that on anyway, just in case. And creative and peaceful. That way no mobs spawn and get in your way. Which I find annoying. So you can have this set to as many as you want. But I just have it set to three just in case somebody else wants to come on my that has it on my land. So yeah. After that what you want to do is you wanna go to after you had that open, you wanna go to your documents and go into you have a it'll make a craft bucket server folder and after that you want to drag your uh, plugins into here you just drag world edit folder into here and your voxel sniper in here and actually it'll, it'll be a jar so just drag these in here and then you're ready to go so what you want to do you want to start up craft bucket again that way it loads up with everything in it and you'll have your server up now. Just open up Minecraft, and here we go. I'm still running it on 1.1, so then there's your server, Minecraft server, and logging in. So there. Oh, and falling. This is my uh, floating island, island seed still, so. One second, I'll just be right back and I'll have it in full screen. Okay guys, back in full screen here and as you can see, I'm flying around but I can't do anything because I'm not op. So what you want to do first when you first start off is op your name, your Minecraft account name, and you'll now be op. That way you can now break blocks and other stuff like that. So if I wasn't op, I wouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> okay, so now after that, you won't be able to do anything yet. So, like, if you want to be able to snipe, like, uh, say, we want to put a ball of uh, stone, you can't do that because you're not a sniper yet. So, what you want to do, you want to type in add sniper. Yep. Then your name again. Right there. And sniper added. New deal 66. Now I can go ahead and type in, say, B ball. And that will give me a ball of air. Now, if we, what you, if you want to do, if you want to change the voxel type to, say, stone, you type in V, then your item that you, know, that you want. So in this case, we want stone, which is one. And I can just plop a stone ball right there. Now let's say we want to undo that, type in slash u, and it's been undone. 
let's say that but now we want to try a different brush say uh, B Foxel this will give you a square of blocks right there so let's undo that again and if you want to change the size all you have to do is type B and then the size you want so say 15 this will give you a radius of 15 so it will be 15 and then the middle block and then 15 again so it will be a, a total of 31 blocks so if you type that in type it into here and it's us say ball we'll get a ball size of 31 and it's going to take a while because that's a big pretty big ball right there so if we want to do that just type in you there you go and it's been undone now let's say you want to make a a ball floating in the middle of the air like what I did here in order to do that you need to type in v, a vs range then the range you want say 15 now I can place a ball here's a second b ball let's say 5 that'll be 11 size right there there's our ball floating in the middle of the air once again there's another one because if, if you don't have that on what you do say range again turn it off just type in range again vs range and once you uh... if you were to do this you would snipe over there where your cursor is pointing but we don't want that so undo too so yeah I forgot to mention if you want to you can undo and then the number amounts of undos you want to do and so yeah if we can just continually snipe onto these and there we go and we just made a little I'm not sure what to call that but yeah oh I'm not typing anything there we go back to daytime now if you want to just unrace what you did there without having to type undo just easy just go voxel air which is zero you can't type in the word a air because it won't do anything 15 let's just do that nice and large amount of air so there's that now the other thing is if you want to actually just uh... get some land in here again vs range let's do 15 again voxel let's make this uh, some stone again what's it doing there we go that's a fairly large ball I, I clicked twice and so there you go now if you want to smooth this out there are many different options for the first one I'm going to go over is the blend ball so type in B BB for a blend ball what this does is it makes a very nice move and it it just makes it nice and even I find and I I like it more for uh, like desert biomes because it gives a nice blown effect to the sand which makes it look like it's uh, just been blown by the air as you can see it's pretty smooth and the second one that I use for like a volcano say is B E then melt just like so and what this does oops I'm getting some lag there is it just replaces the nearest block with whatever block it is so if the nearest block is there it will replace it fair and then the I forgot to mention this but the uh, gunpowder tool you need the arrow and gunpowder tool sorry about that right there I'm using a texture pack but it's just a gun piece of gunpowder and what this does is it pulls I'm using the right to take off the range yes range sorry about this there we go and that will just pull everything so if we just go around pushing it gives it a very rough look which is perfect for folks say volcanoes or if you want to do just a crater say for say yeah and then if you want to just move this rough look out a little bit more let's uh, just make it look rough here rough there we go oh, that's pretty rough say type in B 
E. Let's move. Oops. This here will just nicely smooth. Not overdoing it, just smoothing it out enough to make it look like it was generated by a Minecraft engine. No, gener no, train generation. Cannot talk. Or if you want, you just do the blend ball again and that will smooth it out as well. So it all depends on what your look, what, what type of look you're going for. Now you can see that this makes it nice little, it makes a nice little shape. And yeah. So the next thing is covering it in dirt. This part's pretty easy actually. If it doesn't look like it, but it is. Type in B. Over. D. The depth, depth of the how far you want the next block to go. So it's say three for dirt. Type in voxel, which would be three for dirt. Or you type in the word dirt. V. Dirt. See, it still works. And you just paint. Like so. Oh, I'm getting some lag. Sorry about that. And so there you go. That's pretty much all I have there. And then to cover it with, uh, whoopsie, grass, just type in V2, which is grass. Then uh, B over D1. And just cover it in grass. That way you don't have to wait for the grass to be gone from the sides here because it just be like grass there which is kind of weird looking and if you did this it's also the opposite of what the gunpowder brush is so instead of just covering what the original blocks already are sorry what they already are Mike said uh, I mean I don't know why it does that it will actually add on a layer of dirt so yeah it's kind of I never never use it so just undo this by three. Actually, one more. There we go. That's better. And you don't have to worry about that. Grass will grow back, so don't worry about that. And yeah, oh yeah. The other part is trees. This is simple. T and B. T. Very simple. And then you just click. If you try and do it on, say, like. Uh, let's do it like this. Let me just get rid of some of these blocks. And you click on that, it won't make a tree because it's based off the Minecraft tree generation. So if you try and place a tree on the side of a mountain, it most likely won't grow if there's too many blocks in the way. So if it's on top, it will generate. So you don't have to worry about oddly shaped trees or anything else like that. So I hope you get most of the, the, the most part of how this works um, there's actually one more brush I want to show you guys it's the splatter ball bar brush and what this does is it's actually BSB sorry and you, as you can see on the screen here there's a seed percentage which is set to 10 growth percentage which is set to 10 and then recession re, ah, I can't I can't talk <laughs> but uh, what that does, it lets you actually set how, what kind of uh, ball you want in place. So let's just do B5, voxel, stone, and click there. Nice and scattered out. It's not a perfect ball. Which is good for like saying, um, I, do, I use this in the volcano, and I place lava on top, which gives it a nice rough look. And actually just undo a couple of those. Oops. Come on. T undo slash undo three. Now uh, leave that one there. But you can change that by typing B S B. Let's change the growth percentage, which is G. Then the percentage. So we want uh let's say thirty three point three three. There we go. And that will just add more to it. Which is I think this is perfect for asteroids. You get a nice rough look for an asteroid. So yeah, undo. Let's do undo six or undo four. Yeah, that's fine. I'll fix this later. But uh, yeah, then the seed. If you want to change that, I think it's S B S. Uh, let's try fifty. Yep, seed percentage. 
it's just uh it 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 it's almost like a like a a voxel brush but it's not complete as you can see undo seven all right yep so that's about it for the this tutorial if you guys want more please let me know um there's a lot more EVA I can go over actually I'll show you guys one more just to uh, finish it off but let's say um, that there's a pond here but you don't want to just do a whole bunch or say it's deep like a few blocks deep like so but you don't want to have to place water blocks everywhere all you have to do with world edit this is already in if you install world edit with this. You go over to you get as close to the water as you can and you type in T I mean slash slash fix water. If you type in fix lava it works as well for lava. So we're just going to fix water and type in the radius from where you are. So let's say it's not that big of a hole so let's type in seven and that will fill in this area with water without having to uh, go in and place all a whole bunch of water blocks which is very nice which I've done over there with that little pond there and the little pond over here so now you guys know how to do that nice and easy so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed please leave comments in the comment section below if you don't have if you have some questions and let me know if you guys want more He's, I, I love using this tool it's very fun you can make so much cool stuff of it, that's for sure. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go kill myself now. And, yeah. Good day.